Hello and welcome back to more GPS action. Wait, should probably check the microphone first. Test, test. Okay, microphone's good. Let's turn this down just a little bit. Perfect. And we'll go one more. We are playing Alex and the defending champions, the person who beat us in the finals last year. We're going up against, um, this is our anime rematch right here. I need to um, show that I've grown and hopefully can pick up the win today. I was not able to get an Enamorous or an Ogre Pond <coughs> Sprite. The internet didn't have any transparent ones that I could find on very, very quick notice. This is the team we're bringing today. Um, yes, we are doing Double Fire. I do understand he has a Flash Fire Pokemon. Um, I think if we can get rid of that said flash fire pokemon um we would be pretty set to do good work here oh i don't have boots on well too late now let's get into it i meant to put boots on volcarona all right no worries here we go okay so he brings slither okay heat train Mammo. So it would have been no. So Slither Wing. I might have a Slither Wing. Let's see. Okay. We will do this. And then see if we have a Slither Wing. We might actually have one. I think we played against one. at some point last season. Yes, we do have a slither wing. Copy it down. And then just know that the other one's Ogre Pond. Okay, so no Enamorous. Kind of uh, a little shocking there. So we'll, we will complete that and go right into the battle. So we went double fire and he went no... No enamorous. So, really, the speed control here is the Ogre Pond. Okay, Corviknight. That is a excellent lead for us. Okay, so... Um, we can just quiver. Yeah, Corviknight comes out. Here comes the Heatran. Yeah, we know. All right, Heatran comes out. He has Air Balloon Heatran. That's good to know. Let's get our first Quiver Dance off. And then we will get our second Quiver Dance off. And then we should be able to very, very much chip away at this man. I think we go until... Um, we pop our berry. I think that's going to be best. And he hit pretty hard there. He might not be a defensive set. He very, he very well could be a um, non-defensive set here. So we're going to go Bug Buzz. Okay. Pop that air balloon. He goes for the earth power. And the flamethrower is doing a little bit more damage. Okay. Keep hitting that bug buzz. Okay. Pop our citrus berry. And then with that citrus berry pop, we go into Arcanine. Hmm. <laughs> Flamethrower into the Arcanine Flash Fire. Makes our fire move stronger, which is great. Um, I think we go for the... I think we're going to be faster. Um, I think the close combat will pick up the KO, but 
He very likely switches out here, expecting the close combat. We are faster than everyone except for Ogre Pond. So Ogre Pond still doesn't want to take a close combat, so I'm going to go close combat. Yeah. Don't overthink it. Yeah. Altaria comes out. All right. Close combat, not going to do squat. So it's lefties, Altaria. I like the gold Altaria. Looks cool. Okay. Um, so we go into our Vaporeon here. He could Terra the Altaria. It is his Terra um, for this match because I don't think Slitherwing can Terra. So, yep. Grave Bird into Vaporeon. We eat that pretty well. Good, good recoil damage there. Alright. So we most likely see the Corviknight. Would be my guess. So, with us seeing the Corviknight. Hmm. I think we just go for stab surf here. Or we ooh no. Can we yawn it? I think we do. Yeah, whatever he switches out, <clears throat> we yawn here. <clears throat> Make him go for a double switch. Ooh, perfect. So I'm glad we didn't go for the surf there. Um, and we get to yawn the ogre pond. <laughs> okay. So the ogre pond comes out, it's yawned. Could very likely see the grass move here. Um, it is probably going... It's probably going to switch. I would switch if I were him. So... Um, I think we can freely surf. And if he does stay in and goes to sleep, that's, that's cool with us too. So their Pong does switch out. Which means we are free to just hit the big O surf here. Yep, Vaporeon going to get the Surf off. Get some pretty good chip damage on this Slitherwing. Okay. And then I think we can... It's probably going to first impression. So... We want to pop our... Oh, we don't have Espeon either. Don't know why we're showing that. Um, We went with... Double fire, double water. We just didn't have the Vaporeon. Uh, yeah. Even if he does do the first impression. Ooh, that does a lot of damage. Life orb. Okay. So the life orb into it. He grows drowsy. We get back a little bit, a little bit here. Um, I think he possibly goes into the... Um, I could see it being the Ogre Pond. Hmm. So I think we set up our stuff here. He could go for a move, and if he does, he does. I don't think he'd want to go to sleep, though. He just goes for the wild charge and goes to sleep. That's a good switch on our part then. <clears throat> so now, no more first impression to take out the Rillaboom here, which is great for us because now the Slither is asleep. So, um, with whatever comes out here, we can just U-turn it. Or he could stay in here. Um... I think a U-turn is a pretty good move. Uh, no, because it could be Heatran. I think we just go for the knockoff. Yeah. Just knock off whatever. Just knock off that life orb. 
We need to heal enough to get back to our sash, too. And we just knock off. We knock off till death at this part. At this point. Hope that it doesn't wake up. Ooh, we probably should have actually gone for a kill there. No, he just withdraws. Okay. So, Corviknight, maybe? Ogre Pond gonna come in and take a knockoff. Interesting. Okay. Okay. Um. Can we just U-turn? We see what it does. He could kill us here. But he's just going to withdraw. Okay. So we got a free knockoff. And then we're going to U-turn on the Corviknight. <clears throat> That's good for us. Okay. A little rocky helmet. Okay. And I think we can freely go into Arcanine. Because the switch there... Um, probably is Altaria. Mm, yeah, I could see it being Altaria. So we're just going to go for the Iron Head. Mm-hmm. He brought the two Pokemon that we did not want to see with Lil' Corona. That's alright. Thalia comes out. We can get a big, big Iron Head in here. She thick. But we're going to get Grass Terrain. She is not. Okay. So Grass disappears. Um... We go for flinches. <laughs> Just gonna roost. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. Yeah. We just keep hitting it. We could get a crit. We could get a flinch. Yep. There's one flinch. And then we go into the Vaporeon here. Got a crit. That sucks for us. don't need this wall to break this early but it is what it is um just goes for the brave bird and picks up the ko yeah i think we might live two of those without the crit there that's all right recoil damage is about the same as lefties here okay so it is definitely, so it's full defense and HP. Um, yeah, it's full defense HP. So we just go into Sneasler. Um, yep, the Brave Bird's gonna kill us here. Ooh, it's gonna be Steel. Be interesting to see Steel here. Maybe Fairy? Goes into Ghost. Interesting. He expected the Fake Out, I think. So, that's good for us. Um... We got a crit. Do we get any status? We get him to go to sleep. That is 
really, 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 really lucky. But I'll take it. So we got two sleeps. Did not mean to. Um, it's not a... Obviously, the sleep claws, um, not good there for him, but... Okay. So we just sword dance. Corb's gonna come out. Excellent. So we sword dance. The sleep Altaria is awesome for us. And we get to fire punch. Dealing quite a bit of damage and burning Corviknight. Dang. We got all all the stuff going for us this, this match for sure. He's just gonna Brave Bird. It is super effective. The balloon is going to pop. Um, most likely can pick up a KO on a close combat here. Um, just in case he tries to get tricky and pull in like Heatran expecting to fire punch. We just go for the close combat. Yeah. Okay. So close combat comes out. <clears throat> and we might have died to Rocky Helmet there. We did. It's all right. Okay. With Corviknight. Okay, so... Um... Could see Heatran here. We got two two asleep. Could see the Ogre Pond, which we would not want to really see. Um, I think we go into Samurai here. Okay, the asleep Slitherwing. It's good for us. All right. And we just, um, we X scissor, no, we ceaseless edge. We want to get up some stuff. So a little wing avoided, 90 fucking percent. That sucks. Okay, so he went for the first impression wake up. Understandable. Um, Slither probably come, or I mean, Ogre Pond probably comes out here. Yeah. So, with Ogre Pond coming out, it's most likely going to be a grass move. Um, we go into Rillaboom. Just swords dances. Okay. Well, with that, the swords dance is scary. It, we're going to get KO'd probably no matter what here. We just go for the grassy glide. And then we can extreme speed. Um, ooh. Don't need to. We did not die. So the grassy glide will pick up the KO here. Um... I'm wondering if he switches out, tries to save the Ogre Pond for speed control. I bet he does. Yeah. So we just U-turn out. Alteria. Okay. Which is good because it's now Ghost. Okay. Not very effective. We switch out. Um... Let's see. We go into the Samurai now. Mm, does it have that thing where when it, if it switches out, it, it's no longer asleep? Probably does. We just ceaseless edge here. Picking up the KO on Altaria and dropping some spikes.
E-Tran don't want to come in on spikes. Mammo, maybe? Overpawn just comes out. All right. Cool with me. Um, do we give away that we have Sucker Punch? Yeah, I think we have to. Otherwise, Overpawn might sweep. So, we pick up a KO on Overpawn. <laughs> Mammo comes out. We are meant to outspeed this big thick boy. And hopefully we killed his sash there too. Aqua Cutter comes out, picks up the KO. So it's just the Heatran left, and the Aqua Cutter should pick up the KO on on him as well. Unless we run out, unless we run to time here. But with the with the spikes damage, um, Samurott doing some really good work at the end there. Once we had the pieces gone that needed to be gone, um, Samurott was able to really put in some work there all right so we win match one um but we had a lot going our way so let's see what alex changes up in game two i think we lead our sneezler this time Yep, same rules. I could see a Mammo lead to try to get up rocks. Um, so we'll go with that. Let's see what this man's said. Yeah, I know. It was super lucky. Very, very lucky. I agree. Prep is complete. Yeah. R R N G worked on my prayer. Okay. Um I don't think he would lead Slitherwing, so I know we said Sneasler, but Rillaboom's kind of a good bring here just to get down to Sash, as long as he doesn't get up any hazards, because then we can get... The Altaria was the biggest problem for us, so if we could effectively um, use our tech and Endeavor, the Altaria... Um, down to 1 HP when we need to come in later, it will be miraculous. Just, it will win us the match. So, goes into Ogre Pond. All right, we like that. Yep, the Ogre Pond, Rillaboom lead. Okay. All right, we just U-turn. Whatever he brings out here, we just U-turn. We've had two good we've had two good leads. Okay. Corviknight comes out. Alright. Get this big switch on the corv. And we go into the Volcarona. And he might try to read this, expecting the quiver, so we're going to go for the fiery dance. Yep. Not going to be enough. Brave Bird might 
take us out here. We are we are full defense. It does not take us out. Recoil will probably take him out, though. So Corviknight going down, that's so good for us. And we get this recovery from the citrus berry and the grassy terrain. And we have the special attack boost. It's a good read. Okay. So he goes into the ogre pond. Um, with the ogre pond coming out. We go into the Sneasler. He hits us. We activate the Unburdened. And then we... Um, yep, yeah, Ivy Cudgel. Right? Ooh, that hit so hard. Is he banded? Might be banded. Wow. Did not expect it to hit that hard. Could get the lefties recovery here. I think we do. I mean the the uh, grassy terrain recovery here. And then uh, we switch into the Vaporeon because he's banded. We get a little bit of that back. And then, no, he can't be banning because he's, he went, yeah. All right, and then we Terra, Terra Blast. This is what we need. He needs to stay in and hit us with a, with a grass move. Because we can get his speed control out as well. Um, I'd feel really good. And get his water absorb out. I'd feel real good. So he goes for the power whip. It's a good Terra. Great defensive Terra. And then we Terra Blast into him. Alright. It's not enough. But. Um, we bulky. Okay. Could see the switch into Heatran. Um, so we're just going to go for the Yawn. <laughs> yep. Mamo. That's big for us. So we go for the Yawn into Mamo. Ammo can stay in all it wants. Because um, if it goes for a earthquake, we take the damage away. He could be going for it even though he definitely did because Mammo's faster than Vaporeon. So he's going to go to sleep here. Icicle track. Good read. Good read on the icicle crash. Um, he is going to go to sleep though which is big for us. Okay, so we can bring back out um, either the Vaporeon or we can just go straight into Samurott and get up some Ceaseless Edges with the Asleep Mammo. Okay, we go for the Ceaseless Edge. We like seeing him asleep. We sure do. Altaria. Big ceaseless edge. Um, we just go for another one. I don't know what what on his team wants to take one of those anyways. I mean she's gonna live. But is she going to be able to KO back? Probably not, because she's built defensively. Going to go for the Willow. Nice. Good tech. 
Didn't even know she could learn Willow. With the burn and the lefties, do we still pick up the KO with the Ceaseless and get our third layer of spikes up? Um, I think we have to go for it. Yeah. We do not pick up the KO. We are burned. That's all right. Just gonna defog. All right. Grass disappears. Get enough lefty, but not enough to live it, I don't think. Um, so we get up at least one layer here. Yep. Just don't miss. We could. Enough to take it out that time. And then we drop. Drop the spikes. Samurai did its job, for sure. Um, could see the slither, and if we do, we just take the first impression. Um, we could just go into the Arcanine here, actually. And use Sucker Punch if we need it. So with its two defensive cores out, that's good for us. That wild charge. Dang. This man is strong. Okay. Um, do we see the Heatran? Um, I think we make him bring it out. And we just flare blitz regardless. If he goes into the heat train, he goes into the heat train. I think we have to. I think we have to hit it. Yeah. Could have probably. Ooh, the mammo. Alright. Probably could have read with the close combat there, but we will take that. Big flare blitz coming out. Not gonna be enough on mammo. Um, and, yeah, we just go for the Iron Head here. He went for the, um, the priority there. So we take out Mammo. Faster than Heatran. I don't think he'd bring out Heatran. We probably see the... Th yeah, okay. Into the Slither. Okay, so the Sliver first impression is going to be a pain in the ass here. Um, we resist here, don't we? We also super resist here. I think we just go into the Volcarona. Expecting that yeah first impression comes out not very effective and we get the flame body so the first impression won't be so good next time either that's great all right um definitely goes into the heatran here Going to the Vaporeon. Because he wants to save the, the Slither, I would think. Even if he doesn't, we'll take a Wild Charge is fine. Take that pretty well. Especially because he's burnt. 
Then we get those lefties recovery. Um, we don't want to hit a surf strictly because Ogre Pond, so we go for the Terra Blast. Close combat comes out. We eat that really well, too. And the Slytherwing just dies to his own life orb damage there. So, Ogre Pond and Heatran left. Brings in the Heatran. It's definitely going to go for the... Uh, we just surf it. Oh, nice. Should have gone for the Yawn. Should have called it. I played two. I didn't think... I didn't... I didn't think about it. Still gonna get hurt by the spikes. The surf gonna water absorb a little bit of damage there. Not a lot. About enough. It's not like Ogrebond can hit us um, very effectively though. Um yeah, we just terror blast. Okay. That's fine. He trent the switching in and out's gonna hurt more on you for the spikes, so. Um, that's cool with me. <laughs> Getting some pretty good recovery here. Goes for the earth power. We yawn. Probably just go in the vocal runner here and um no, you know what? If he stays in and picks up the KO, he goes to sleep. If he switches, we read it. Nope. He just stays in. Alright. That is good for us. So the heat trans gonna go to sleep. Yeah, we had to play the the switch there. Had to force his hand. Um, don't really want to do an aqua cutter. Yeah, we just go for the close combats here. Alright, close combat. As long as he doesn't wake up, don't wake up. Good. So without him, because he didn't wake up, um, I do believe an extreme speed sucker punch combo um, will win us the match against Ogre Pond. We pick up the KO on the Heatran there. And with the spikes damage, we might be able just to pick it up with the extreme speed right here. But I do feel confident with the two priority moves we have left that we should be able to um, win this match, barring any craziness. So we just go for the extreme speed, and it is enough. So GG's to Alex and the Labrador Town Gengars. We got our revenge um, going into the playoffs as the number one overall seed, and... Uh, possibly the one with the biggest bankroll but i think the double down will make it so the winner of the um slow kings and sylveons will actually be the bankroll winner but it's exciting we got our revenge um 
the strategy worked. We got lucky in the first round, uh, but I will take it. We both had really good reads, played really good. Um, good luck in the playoffs, Alex. Hopefully see you in the finals so we can get a finals rematch as well. Um, down below will be some more Global Pokemon Society action. Go check it out. It's heating up. Playoffs is about to start. Like, subscribe, and see you guys in the next one.